So now we're going to talk about the open world PvP and the karma system. Whenever these mechanics pop up, it's always a complicated discussion because it's no secret that games that feature systems like this have normally featured smaller or more niche communities for quite a while. Me personally, I have been able to play and thoroughly enjoy games that do things similar to this, such as Mortal Online, Darkfall, EVE Online, and Albion of course, games like that. Core Punk, on the other hand, is going to fall into the more laid back side of that, meaning that there will be penalties, consequences, and safeguards in place. The best way to start this off is to relay two quotes from the developers themselves about how they feel when it comes to open world PvP. The first quote is in response to a question about how likely it would be for Core Punk to abandon the PvP focus, get rid of the karma system, and focus on more PvE to reach a broader audience. The answer was that it won't happen and that Core Punk is not a PvP-focused game, both PvP and PvE players will find enough content to get lost in the game. And the second thing is that the Karma system was created to protect players from the abuse of PvP in the open world. As they said, they don't want to prohibit or restrict players in anything, and therefore they use a system of punishments, not restrictions. And that is going to be the focal point of this video today. First thing you need to know is that anywhere in the open world, meaning outside of the towns and starting locations, you are capable of toggling yourself into PvP mode. This allows you to attack anyone regardless of their player status. The player status is showcased using four different colors to represent karma level, and these are recognized by looking at another player's name and health bar. We first have white. These are considered neutral players, but it also indicates that the player is three levels or more below you. The rules for attacking such a player are similar to yellow, except that you will receive a lot more karma points for attacking them and you'll become criminal immediately. The yellow stage is also considered neutral, except these players should be around your level. For a neutral player, you cannot hit them with AOE abilities or offensive abilities unless you have PvP mode enabled. If you attack a yellow neutral player, you will gain karma points for killing them. An important distinction to make is that I have heard that if the player is in the white stage, like three levels below you, their name should be white but their health bar might still be yellow since they're both considered neutral players. Just an important thing to keep in mind. For the green color, these are the players that are in your party or raid group. You won't be able to attack them. And finally, we have the red stage. This is the enemy or criminal stage, and if you see someone at this stage, karma points are not given for attacking and killing these players. Now, if you're strictly fighting people that are around your level, like just yellow names, you will gain honor points for these kills, but you would also need to kill about 100 players to become criminal, instead of going criminal immediately by killing a lower level player. One thing to note is that only the aggressor is in danger of becoming criminal if they were to kill you. That means if someone attacks you, whether you are three levels or more below them or not, you don't gain karma for killing them. And just to be clear, gaining karma points is a bad thing, losing them or not having them is a good thing. And you don't lose them or your criminal status on death. But when you're classified as a neutral player, death in core punk means that you have a minuscule chance of losing something from your inventory when you die. Now they stress that it is an incredibly small chance, but it is there. I'm assuming that this does not apply to PvE deaths because this quote comes directly from the FAQ on the website and it is listed under the PvP section, but if that changes in the future, I'll let you guys know. And it's crucial to point out that they specify the inventory and not what you have equipped. Because for example, if you die in PvP as a criminal, you have a guaranteed chance to drop one of your equipped artifacts, which are the items you can equip on your 1-6 to six bar, that can give you stat bonuses or active skills. And whoever kills you can get an increased honor point gain as opposed to if you were a neutral player. So my guess is that if you die as a neutral player in PvP and you ever have a chance of dropping something, based off of this quote, I'm assuming it won't be from your equipped items. So unless you've got some kind of legendary resource sitting in your bag and you get unlucky enough for that to happen, I think we'll be okay. Now what happens when you become a criminal? So they've said that there will be NPC guards that defend the settlements inside Core Punk. These guards are supposed to be very powerful and capable of easily killing any criminal players that come close. If the criminals still manage to get in, which in these kinds of games is something that still happens, then it won't be difficult to kill that person with other players and guards supporting you. It also says that if a criminal drops an item, you can pick up the item as long as it's not soul bound. If it is soulbound, then you can pick it up, but on pickup, it's going to break apart and give you materials for it instead. Now since criminals are forbidden from entering regular cities and towns, where do they go? Well, there are actually small settlements for players with bad karma, where only the most basic services are available to them. Also wanted to quickly say that there is a duel system, so if you wanted to practice or fight somebody, you don't necessarily have to worry about toggling PvP mode on to do it. 
But back to the criminals, there is no limit for the amount of karma points you can gain, and you can lower your karma points by completing different objectives that pop up. These activities can happen in the open world, or even in dungeons. However, like I said in a previous video, there was mention of two social professions that might be available at launch or afterwards, and these ones are known as Hitman and Sheriff. That means that as a regular player, you might be able to make a life out of hunting players like this down, and we also might see anti-PK guilds pop up from this as a result, which I think would be really cool to see. Two more things to consider is that as a criminal, you are not able to be a member of a party, and if somebody in your party becomes a criminal, they get dropped out of the group immediately. And the second thing is that other party members or anybody assisting a criminal on a low level player will also become a criminal and get dropped out of their parties as well. Keep in mind that even buffing or healing an aggressor can be considered an assist. Artificial Core has also said that in the future, areas with greater risk of losing items in PvP are planned to exist. So that reminds me of other games like Albion that feature a zone system and that's something we might see in the future of this game. For now though, that's everything you need to know about the Karma and open world PvP systems of Core Punk. Hopefully this helps to provide a better understanding and I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful night or day, and farewell.